World Malbec Day is celebrated on April 17th to commemorate the day President Domingo Faustino Sarmiento Ooh. made it his mission to transform Argentina's wine industry. Wine and spirits expert Regine T. Rousseau joins us now to introduce us to a few styles of Malbecs from Argentina. Yes, very good. <laughs> We're learning. Spanish is not as good as no, yours. Yeah. <laughs> not either. Okay, so you want me to I move have, over yes. here? Yes, okay. so oh. I have set up a proper <gasps> tasting for you oh, okay. with tasting mats. So this is what we do at Shall We Wine for our corporate clients. Okay. okay. So we are looking at Luigi Bosca, who is our producer today. Okay. And the reason that I chose one producer is because I wanted to show you what Malbec can do mm. um, with just a little variation. So each one of these will have a different nuance. Okay. okay? So the first one we have is number one, La Linda. So let's taste it. Oh. So Ooh. the La Linda, oh, I'm sorry. So What's number it? one will be right here. Oh, I didn't okay. mark yours. Okay. okay. So La Linda, <laughs> and of course I grabbed the wrong one. <laughs> it is all about fruit expression. Okay. So mm. these are 30-year-old vines, uh, no oak or very minimal oak, so fresh fruit, juicy, okay. mm. classic style of Malbec. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's the stuff I know. So good, yeah, that's right? Good. Love, it. Yeah. Love it. The next one we're going to try is their signature. This is the 2020. Okay. I know it says 2019, but we have the 2020. Oh. And then it's going to be this one. Thank you. So uh, what we're going to see with these is Malbec is, um, is a, a grape that doesn't get a lot of acidity. Okay. Mm. So in Argentina, they grow Malbec at a higher elevation so that the grape can get some acidity. Okay. Oh. So all of these are grown at 960 meters above sea level. Okay. okay? So this one one has about 12 months of oak aging and the vines are um, 50 year old so it's gonna be a little bit more complex so let's mm. try it so the cooler climate makes the grape more acidic mm -hmm. Ooh. absolutely so oh. if you're in a warm area you you, you plant mm. higher okay so that you can get some more acidity oh that's interesting yes. yeah now what you're gonna notice is there's just a subtle difference from yeah. one to the other these wines the first one uh, is about mm, fifteen dollars and the the second one's about 19, oh. but you start to get more mm. complexity. I with, tasted oh. that four dollar difference. I know you did. I, <laughs> I did. know. I know you did. Okay. So the next one we're going to taste is the DOC. Okay. And this one is really special because which, which one is that? Like you're oh, right. Okay, sorry. Mm -hmm. I labeled hers. Yes. I was trying to well, totally confuse there. you. I was looking at that part. I'm like, oh. yes. I was <laughs> cheating. Mine's labeled. Yes. I was confusing you. So this is super important because um, La Jun de Cuyo is the only DOC in um, in Argentina. What's DOC? Okay, so DOC is means a. Uh, the place of origin, okay? okay? So it means that in order for a wine to have DOC on the label, it has very strict ah. laws, okay? okay? So the vines have to be 50 year old. Okay. They have to let see 12 months in oak, and there's a limitation to how much vines or how much uh, grapes that you can actually plant oh. in the area. This is actually a 70 year old vine. So Ooh, when you okay. taste it, you're gonna really see some more complexity in this particular wine. Okay. Are you gonna see a bigger price tag too? Not that much. That's okay. what's great about these wines. This is between 24 and $26. Ooh, okay. So this is the grandpa Ooh. vine. This is the grandpa. grandpa. Ooh, this mm -hmm. is good. I like mm -hmm. grandpa. Oh wow! I like right? that. Yeah. You, mm -hmm. And then you see a difference between the first mm -hmm. and the and this third. one is specifically. Yeah. So then yeah. DOC is limited because there's only so many people that can grow it, right? Right. Well, there's only so many plantings uh, you can have, and okay. then DOC basically again means this particular area has been designated as being mm. a very special area for wine growing, mm -hmm. and it takes a long time for um, a, an area to receive a DOC status. I can see myself going to a party and trying to. Uh, uh, regurgitate this information to get it completely wrong. Well, you know what? One of the things I try to do is simplify I, it. What you can do yeah, so that everyone can understand. So just know very strict laws. When you see it on the label, you know you're getting something really special. special. Okay. That's, that's that how I, I would that translate I can remember. it. Yeah. Okay, perfect. <laughs> and then the last one we have is the 2018 Di Sangre. And Di Sangre means of blood. And this is Ooh. their actually super premium mm. Malbec. So Ooh, let's taste okay. it. Okay. I like oh, that. It makes me feel very special. Mm -hmm. 
Oh my God. I think mm. these are so good. Mm. Yeah, these are mm. really good. I have not been drinking a lot mm. of Argentinian Malbecs. So Malbec you can also find in France. Mm -hmm. um, most of the Malbec wines you're gonna see in France are coming from an area called Cahors, which is in southwest oh. of France. But Argentina is where Malbec has found its yeah. home. It just grows really well there. And I think Good. Luigi Boscow is making really beautiful Malbecs. And what should we mm. eat with Malbec? Okay, so one of my favorite wine people was mm. here Wednesday and she did, she said, um, she said barbecue, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Liz. Liz said, and um, what is that over there? We've got some uh, ribs. Yes, got ribs. Some ribs. <laughs> and I forgot about that. <laughs> we got some ribs. Yes. Yes. Brisket, Mary? Yeah. Brisket, brisket. There you go. Oh, brisket. Oh, oh, sorry. There you go. Brisket. <laughs> I so, see a bone. I thought it was ribs. Yes, and Liz was like, try it with brisket, so I brought some brisket mm. for us to taste. And it, pickles? And mm. pickles. Well, pickles are going to kill the Malbec. Don't yeah, do okay, it. Okay. Oh, but mm. it's just a nice garnishment. More of the mm -hmm. sandwiches, too. Mm. Yeah. So the cool thing is, if you go to our website, you're actually going to be able to download one of these oh. taste Mats. I like and that. And there's a list of all of the wines, so you'll be able to do this for your friends. You can try because all the Luigi Boscow. Exactly. I love that. Exactly. I learned so much I from know. you. And Thank then you. I fall in love with you because you're just so elegant as you're explaining all of this. Oh, yes. Awesome. And I'm going to look for DOC on everything. Yes, <laughs> DOC. Well, you won't find it everywhere, yeah. but mm. this is the only one in Argentina. You'll find it in um, Italy and you'll find it in uh, France also. Oh, fantastic. Oh, fantastic. Yes. Fabulous. Thanks, Regine. This was great. Yeah. You're welcome. Uh, you welcome. You want to find all of her stuff? There it is. Shallwewine.com and the social media handles are up on your screen as well. This